what it is, what it do, what it is, lads and ladettes. It is your boy, the Grizz, Dakota Griswold, coming at you with another review ish. I'm not 100% sure if I want to turn this channel or start turning this into review territory, but I would like to tell you what I think about a game or two. So we'll see how this works. I'm trying something new, so bear with your boy. But I've played Bayonetta 3 to a full completion, about 21 hours. Here's some of my thoughts on the entire game, plus some gameplay. There seems to be an abundance of media joining in on their take on the multiverse concept. Bayonetta 3 takes a jab at it and does that interestingly well. I've been a huge fan of Bayonetta since she hit consoles 10 years ago. Two sequels later, am I still a huge fan? The short answer is yes, absolutely. Bayonetta 3 is, pr is a promising sequel to an already beloved franchise. The game is both top-notch action, versatile in gameplay, with three different playable characters who actually play different yet familiar to one another. Performance-wise, my Switch sounds like one of those Dyson Air Multiplier fans. Yeah, I know they're supposed to be quiet, but they actually have some bit of a calming sound, and that's exactly what my Switch sounds like. I played this on TV mostly, so it wasn't so noticeable. Visually, the game is at as beautiful as the Switch will allow it, albeit the game is very beautiful at times during Kaiju fights. Yes, Kaiju fights. In this game, you get to use a new ability called Demon Slaves, where basically Bayonetta takes these huge demons that was in the previous games, and now she can control them directly. Yeah, that's awesome. Gameplay switches you up between Bayonetta, Jean, and the new character Viola, or Viola. They each have different playstyles. The story seems to be all over the place at first, but by the end, without spoilers, it all comes together in a head nodding kind of way. It's not the biggest, greatest story, nothing to write home about, but it's pretty serviceable for this type of game. Overall though, this game is a huge blast to play as was it, its predecessors. Biased or not, this is a fantastic foray into a familiar genre in button mashing beat em ups. With the game constantly switching things up, it remains fresh and nothing overstays its welcome. If you like action or hack and slash style games, Bayonetta 3 is a must buy on a Nintendo Switch. Besides, it's platinum at their best. So if you haven't already, go out there and grab it. After you hit the like and the subscribe, of course.
Thank <laughs> you. 